Hello, this is Kevin Collins with Home Theater Forum. We're here at Cedia 2013 at the Daylight Booth with Joe Kane. Those who know Joe Kane, he's been infamous in the video industry with his video essentials all the way back to Laserdisc. I started using uh, the DVD video essentials back in 93 and have been a fan of Joe's ever since. Uh, Joe worked with me on HD DVD and uh, did a lot of work on that. So. Today, uh, what we'd like to talk about is UHD, or as you like to call it, 21660p. Um, there's been a lot of hype around this format. Um, personally, I've been, A, the lack of content, and B, how close I would have to sit to the screen from normal uh, versus people in the home theater back, you know, is the resolution being there. And we have that same issue with HD when we're doing the format war, an education process about how close you need to sit to the screen, otherwise you wouldn't really notice the difference. And a lot of members really want to uh, understand that. So first, can you tell us what your recommendation would be if you're going to have a, a 4K set UHD 2160p screen, where do you need to be to actually see the resolution of 2160p? There's a simple answer, and that's 1.8 times the picture height. But the answer is actually a little more complicated than that, because some sets that purport to be 4K actually have more resolution than other sets that purport to be 4K or 2160p. So what we do is we actually put test patterns up to determine if it's a true 2160p set. And if it is, what we've figure it out is that when we move back to about 1.8 times the picture height, we can appreciate the extra resolution that's in the image. If we get a lot further away from that, and I mean like 2.0, um, at that point, the value of the extra resolution diminishes and you get something like uh, two and a half times, which is the viewing distance I use for 1080p, and it looks like a 1080p picture. So you've got to sit a lot closer to this set in order to appreciate the resolution. And if it really does have full resolution, then we're looking at something like 1.8 times the picture height. Great, that's, that's a great information for the members to know. When we were working on HD, HDVD, Stacy and you educated me on, hey, you know, one of the flaws on this is the, you know, 420 and the, the bit depth. I think that's the same. Is that the same with a 2160p standard? And if it wasn't, I mean, what would you recommend to like provide extra value? Well, certainly, there in in my mind there isn't a standard for 2160p. There is an ITU document that describes a 10-bit or a 12-bit system, and just recently 420 and uh, 422 was added to that document. Um, I don't think that's going to sell the format. I honestly believe that. The real, there's got to be a lot more to 2160p than we've ever done in our current high definition system to make the new system truly saleable and truly something everybody's going to want to replace their existing system. So I'm saying, number one, the bit depth has to go up. Our current bit depth is eight bits. Eight bits was enough for the system when we were using CRTs. As soon as we went to better displays, 8 bits wasn't enough. Bigger, better displays, 8 bits isn't enough. You end up seeing contouring in the picture. You end up seeing stepping in what would ordinarily be a smooth gradation. It, it steps. 10 bit is actually required to do a really good job of our current 1080p system. So it would really be nice if we shifted to at least 10 bit for this better system everybody would recognize a picture then, a better picture then. I also believe that we need to do 444. We need to give equal weight to the red, green, and blue channels. I'd rather do just red, green, and blue instead of YCRCB. So I'd like to see a RGB 444 system. 10 bits is only a starting point. I'd actually like to see 12 bits because I'd like to see the system so much better than anything we're doing today, that people would say, yeah, this is absolutely worth buying. I don't want the old system anymore. And that's what I think we're going to have to make 
the system much more than just higher resolution. I believe it's going to have to be a higher bit depth. I believe it's going to have to be 444. And I also believe there is room for a larger color space, something like the color space of digital cinema. So that a combination of all those things would make that format so attractive, you would really want to throw away anything you have. In addition to that, I think the new format that we would be talking about, it, it all the numbers change, so it would have to be a completely new format. It would be a new video system. I also believe that the parameters of this new video system should be extended back into 1080p and 720p. So I think that all the resolution rates, because again, resolution isn't the whole story. Everything combined is the whole story. So why not apply it to 720p and to 1080p? No, I, I agree, Joe. Um, I'm glad you're still fighting for the consumers. You always have been. And I hope you can push this through and get, you know, uh, TV manufacturers and studios to embrace a, a better format like this. Because, you know, right now it seems like, is there enough to just switch your screen to 4K? But these things that you talked about definitely would uh, improve the picture. I want to see a system that is so compelling that everybody will want it. That will be a worthwhile system. That's what I'm going for. Well, thanks, Joe. This is Kevin Collins at, with uh, Home Theater Forum at CEDIA 2013 at Daylight with Joe Kane.